would you refuse to pay your bill over the water scandal? That's what we're asking. Earlier this week, residents in Devon were told to boil their tap water after a parasite contaminated the local water supply. And on the same day, it emerged that millions millions of tonnes of raw sewage had been pumped into Lake Windermere for hours due to a fault. Now there's a growing movement of activists now boycotting their bills in order to hold water companies to account. But is that acceptable? 0207 862 is the number to give us a ring with your thoughts on this. Yasmin, I'll start with you. Would you ever boycott your bill? Absolutely, absolutely. I don't know. There's something about this country. Where people are. Tr most people are so law-abiding. You know, this is one of the like it's a bad yeah, thing. No, <laughs> I think when 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 time comes, can't pay, won't pay is a good measure, especially as one of the most polluting water companies has increased its payouts to shareholders by nearly ten percent in that week. I'm sorry. You know what are we going to get next? Those water raid. Uh, campaigns, our children trying to get pure water. Are we going to reach? I mean, that I, I, I scoffed at that, but actually, yeah. we might not be that far away. Yeah. Lots of lots of companies now, lots of companies, lots of organisations now saying that you know this is serious. Mm. Somebody is going to die because of this. It's a dire situation. The anger is is fully understandable. I just don't know if this is the answer because I think for a lot of things there are services that I don't feel that I get value from. If you take this principle, I take it all the way back to income tax. You know, from the moment I started paying it, I don't think it's necessarily up to us to decide exactly how those funds are deployed. I think the danger for this is that if people are very organised and have got a good activist past, they'll stay on the right side of the law. There is a legal way of doing this, absolutely. I don't know. I'd be worried that people watching this might take this up because it be, if you don't stay up with the admin, you quite quickly, uh, you could get a CCJ against you. Uh, you could uh, actually, you know, you could have, you could have bail bailiffs coming around. You know, Jeff, a time comes. This is not a new issue. It, it, in the, the recent crisis, is at least a year old. The companies are doing nothing. The government is doing nothing. And people are rightly worried and angry. There comes a time in a democracy when you, there has to be people action. But Jeff mm. makes an interesting point. You know, you wouldn't just stop paying your income tax or your council tax when you feel you're not getting what you're paying for there. But I suppose that's looking at the government and it's interesting you apply the same thing to water companies. I'm thinking of uh, private companies when you're purchasing something. If mm. you don't get what you paid for, you get your money back, mm -hmm. you know, or you stop paying. Well, one of the issues I think that we have that's rarely discussed in this situation is our population has gone up exponentially over the last five years. Now, without wishing to put too fine a point on it, if there's one thing humans do most days, it's create waste. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine that this has put extra demands on the services. And the truth is, uh, these companies, yeah, it makes us all feel sick that there are shareholder payments and that there are directors making profit. The truth is, that's quite a small sliver of what's going on here. And they actually need more money, not less. Massively unpopular argument. The truth Massively. is... Massively! No, I don't, I don't <laughs> care, Yasmin. Absolutely. The truth is, what could be more important than clean water? We pay all this money for streaming services. We, I pay money for frivolous things I don't but need. But they've Actually, had the money and they money. don't... Uh, uh, that, sorry, uh, no, Jeff, I, I totally they, get the anger, but that's gone no, now. they've we're had the to... money. They've had the money. We've been paying and they've been promising. But mm. Yasmin, They've been does, promising does, and they did nothing. But Yasmin, does Jeff have a point here that actually what we're looking at is a huge growth in the population and the government has a responsibility to make sure that the infrastructure is there to make sure that the water companies can provide what they say they're going to provide. So maybe this is a fault of the government and not... Well, well, Lisa, I don't, I, I don't go for the uh, population argument at all. I think this is a, this is a, a, a display of how untrammeled but there's only so capitalism many there's so, fails there's only the so people. Many, but Yasmin, there's only it, so it, many I mean, what would you systems. say if we were buying food from a supermarket the chain water where the food was poisoning us? I'm not what? saying it's right on no, any level. No, I'm not saying it's right. But what I'm saying is, is, is how are the water companies supposed to know that the government are going to issue several hundred thousand work visas on any year? The one thing that all those new people, what, the population this, size, no, is the one guarantee of human beings that we will produce. Them we will, uh, we will produce waste. So the water companies have no idea on an ongoing basis what the overall population size will be. And and the, the well, old. You could hazard a guess. It's probably going up. Look, the investment should have been there years ago. Yes. It should have been the foresight. But there hasn't, and I'm not sure withdrawing funds now is the wisest way forward. OK, we're joined now by campaigner Angela Jones. Now, interestingly, Angela, thank you very much for joining us uh, for this conversation because you've been refusing to pay your water bills now for some time, haven't you? I, I certainly have. And listening to the conversation, um, I've been campaigning for six years 
for the water companies to stop um, polluting our rivers and our seas with sewerage. I've been gathering data and I even was part of Panorama and nothing has been done at all. The infrastructure, as we know, so much money is going out in, you know, they're taking the, the, the profits, uh, chief executives uh, having huge wages and bonuses, but there has been no investment in the infrastructure. So I got to this stage four years ago where the amount of data and the amount of TV programs that I'd made, nothing had actually come of it. So the only thing that I had left with me, and for somebody who has never broken the law or got in debt with anything, the only thing that I had left was to withhold my sewage treatment pay payment. So I pay my water bill, but I withhold. I have a bank account with the name of my water company, which is Welsh Water. I have the exact amount in there, but I have a right. There is a service that they are supposed to pro provide, Instead of creaming off the profits, that infrastructure should have been put in place. And, and that's what I disagree with. So I don't recommend people do this because obviously I can't, I've, I'm blacklisted now. I have debt collectors come into my house. But about probably three, four months ago, I phoned at Welsh Water and I asked them, when will they be taking me to court? And they turned around and they said that senior management had told them not to do anything with my debt anymore. And now I'm really offended by that because the reason I put my head on the block was to get notice and get change in our waters. Water is life. So for me to withhold my sewage payment was a huge thing for me to do. And it was the last resort. And then to get turned around and say, no, they're gonna wipe my debt um, and not take me to court. So that basically I, means Angela, that you, 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 your credit rating now is is not very good, and it, they've they've kind of just ignored your protest, and nothing's getting done about it. Now I know you are a wild swimming enthusiast. Is that where your passion for this stems? Are you worried every time you go into the water now? Well, for forty years, you know, the River Y, the River Esk, are are my rivers, and that I take people into them, but also I monitor the wildlife. So I do this all voluntary and I spend a lot of time below the surface. And when I started tasting and, and feeling the difference in the water quality, and then I would I sleep out on the bank some nights and the water companies would pump in at night time. And, and the River Wye, we know, goes through the, the England in Wales. You know, and, and you think we in England, 3.6 million hours of sewerage has been admitted to pumping into the water in 2023. In Wales, it's 916. And that that is what they're telling us. I was asked to go to Westminster to give evidence. And I sat there and I was there with Peter Perry from Welsh Water and things like that. You know, and we know that the data they the the companies are given us are not is not true data. And that's why I train up volunteers to gather data and work with scientists because we know the actual data is not being logged as it should be. Well, that is very worrying if the, the situation is even worse than what we're hearing. Uh, Angela, please Thank stay you. with us. We're going to take some calls now. Uh, Pat from Merseyside, what do you think about the stance that Angela's taken on this? Well, uh, I think, yes, we should do something about it because the pollution and uh, the poisoning of our water how do we know the long-term effects on our health with this? Also, I think people should uh, keep their money aside, bank it separately and keep that money aside, not spend it. And also, there should be um, a committee that might legally be able to sue these companies. They're making millions. I pay £600 a year and our water quality used to be very good in the northwest. We get it from Wales. But um, there are people in the northwest that have um, bad stomachs with this. There are some outbreaks in the northwest, so ours must not be as good as it used to be. OK, well, I, I have no idea whether that's got to do with the, the water or what that has to do with it, Pat, just to protect us legally there. But 
interesting to to decide to boycott paying your bills here because that can really affect you personally pat i mean your credit score could go down you could have issues borrowing money in the future you could issues it getting a bank account are, th are those not fears for you you, you can't you can't have issues uh, if you've always paid your bill on time which i do i'm, I'm sure nearly 90% of people pay their bills on time. And if you have the money ready there to pay when it's legally solved, how can they sue you? No, you no, I don't, I don't, I'm not, it's not about... they're the companies that are making millions. I hear you, it's not about them suing you, it is about you going into debt with them and the fact that you're mm -hmm. in debt with the company could affect your credit score. That's right, isn't it, Angela? Well, then you go legally back to the court and get yeah. your name um, taken off the debtors list because you are making a protest. If this happened in France, people would be on the street. Well, that might, be, that might be true. I just want to go back to Angela here because what I'm really worried about is that people are watching this programme and then they're thinking, right, I'm just not mm. going to pay my water bill. And it can really yeah. affect yeah. you personally. What, what, what Pat's oh, saying here, is that true? The, this this is a last stance for me. I the, water water is my life. I've always respected it, and I really hate the idea. I'm coming up to fifty eight now that I'm blacklisted. Um, I've got debt collectors come in. That is the last thing I wanted in my life. But I prioritise with nature, and it needs that respect. Government isn't listening. The water companies and the regulators aren't doing their job. So, you know, if we get our voice stronger by doing our last stance, and, and, and I can honestly say, you know, I, I really don't feel comfortable doing this. This is my fourth year of doing it, but I see no other alternative. But if you put it into a bank account with the exact amount of money with your water company's name on it and say, when you provide the service, that's when you're going to get paid. Um, and I, I just think that is the only thing that we have left. Okay. I've done marches, I've done, done campaigns, Nothing I've trained at hot hundreds of volunteers. So it is, it, it's, we, need, we need to be taken seriously because we're going to have sick people in our country. You know, well, it breaks already, my I mean, heart. Angela, that time has passed. We already have people I mean, falling I, sick I, because I don't, of it. We do. I don't we do. disagree and with... I, with you know, Hold on, hold on. I just, I just want to get, let Jeff come in, and then we've got loads of calls. I think, like most people watching, I don't disagree with pretty much anything that's being said here, or any of the risks. I think the truth is, with the population size we have now, the work that's going to be needed, to, we need to upgrade. We need to invest, mm. and you can take out profits to shareholders and dividends and so on. Even that won't cover it. The truth is, and it's not a truth I like, is in the longer run, we probably need to pay a bit more for our water each month. Stuart from Nottinghamshire, would you be happy to pay a little bit more for your water each month to sort no, out this issue? No, no, this has gone on all my life. Yeah. When I was a child, I lived in Derby. And Derby, Derby uh, Sewage Works was insufficient for the size of the town. And okay. it spilt sewage into the River Derwent. Now, what, what, what the Derby Angling Club, you know, Fisherman's Club, did, they took Derby, 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 Derby uh, Town Council to court. And they won. And Dar Derby built a massive sewage works on the edge of the town. Now, this isn't a new thing. It's gone on for decades. When I was a child, I was taken to Windermere for my holiday. We stayed in a caravan right alongside Lake Windermere. Mm -hmm. And I said to my dad, I'm going for a swim. He says, are you sure? I said, yeah, I'm going for a swim. And usually when you swim... You, sw you swallow your swimming water, don't you? Even if it's only you try a teaspoon. Not to stir, and particularly mm -hmm. at the moment. Mm. So that's all I've got to say. And did you get ill, Stuart? I wanted to know the end of that. No, I didn't, no, I didn't get didn't? ill. Okay, no, so, no, thank God. Yeah, thank <laughs> goodness for that. Me. Would you be boycotting yeah. your bill? Is that something that you think that we should be encouraging? No. I think the government should tell the water water companies to get their act together. OK, so the government needs to put more pro pressure on the water companies. Too right. Stuart, thank That's you very much. I mean, for. Jeff That's... would say potentially the water companies should be putting pressure on the government to start putting more infrastructure in place. Uh, thank you for your call, though. Uh, another Angela on the phone. Uh, from Merseyside this time, what's your view on this? Right. Um, I basically would only pay part of my bill. 
say half of the bill because they're only doing half of the job. And when they did the mm -hmm. job properly, then I pay the full bill and anything I owed them, which I would keep in the bank for the time being under their name. Well, I mean, that all sounds very good and well, Angela, but actually, would you not be worried that the, the water companies were going to take action with that, get debt collectors on your case, even contact your employer? That's something that they can do as well? No, because when you pay, when you're not refusing payment, they, they can't mm -hmm. do that to you. You are making a payment to them with the... with uh, us, um, with, that the complaint in is that this, they're not doing the job is for this the full some, payment. Angela, is this something that you're doing? No, 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 not at this time because where I live, the, the water is okay. I'm in, okay. I'm in um, Southport. F well, thank Can goodness, I say Angela. That this idea yeah. that it's a you know Jeff's idea about populations and so. And I want to say to you, Angela, I so admire you, and all the best of luck for what you're doing. Good. Really, thank you. It's the okay. privatisation. We're not talking yeah. about the privatisation, bringing the pro profit motive into life's essential commodity. Well, I, I, I think Angela's line's glitching, but I, I was going to ask her about that, whether she would support it being it brought back into the government's hands. But Yasmin, when you look at what the government's done with uh, the education, we've got crumbling walls, not that that was necessarily at the Conservatives, but we've got crumbling walls no, the, in, in schools. We've got an NHS and a certain... Would you trust them with the water? No, I, it mm. can be done well. It can be done properly. It's not a silver bullet, Across though, Europe... It? It, still, it still costs, so uh, we will still... We'll, whether no. it's, whether it's higher direct I, bills or higher direct taxation... Well, Profiteering on water pay. is a crime against humanity. Okay. Profiteering on water is a crime against humanity. It is an interesting sort of semi-monopoly that a lot of mm. these, most of these companies have because you get given your water company, you don't no. get to choose it. And if they're failing in their duties, it's not like you can go and pick another one. I think, Angela, I think, I think, I think what Yasmin said, you know, the, the support for the privatisation, uh, uh, sorry, nationalisation of the water companies was actually, I think it polled well with Conservative voters again. But, you know, tying back to what we said about Keir Starmer recently, it's no longer on the agenda. Uh, Angela, we've just sorted out the connection there very quickly. Would you support um, a nationalisation of the water companies? Um, I, I just want the greed to go and the respect to come back. And, and quite honestly, the amount of, of a table talking and uh, just no action being taken. And do you know what? When I have the debt collectors come to my door, they see my face and they say, you're that woman who's on the telly saying about not paying her bills. And we actually support you. And even the people on the ground who work for the Welsh. So, you know, government need to step up regulators need to start prosecuting but we all knew population was going to get bigger so we knew that we need to invest years ago and I would be happy to pay more on my bill if I knew it was going into infrastructure but it never has gone into infrastructure mm. so you think 71 percent of our company water companies are owned from abroad you know what on earth yes. is going on yeah. Angela Jones thank you very much for joining us for this conversation I'm just going to take one call before we're going to have to wrap it up Barry from Dover what's your view when it comes to uh, the, your water bill and whether you would refuse to pay it until they sort out all these issues. I quite agree. Uh, uh, my view is, and, and the lady you have on the panel, and Anne Whittacombe that you have on your programme as well, they are absolutely wonderful. It's a wonderful show, and keep the good work up. Um, water, Thanks. as the lady said... The lady said, it's a, it's a commodity which we cannot do without. And yet these companies have been privatised and they're taking the money away. The investors are taking the money away from the, from the maintenance of all these things. I don't agree with We shouldn't pay the water mills until they put their work in order. It's the same with the blood plasma in America that's been, and the post office. These people should be brought to task. They should be held responsible, put in a court of law, found guilty, and put in prison. Put in, but they will get away with it. You covered a lot of ground there. Um, we're going to have to wrap up there, but Barry, thank you so much for your call, and thanks for your passion in that call as well.